the principal message of the Episcopal Church is that God loves you no matter what. It doesn't matter where you came from. It doesn't matter who you love. It doesn't matter how long it's been since you've come to our altar, that God loves you compassionately and unconditionally. When I was growing up in Alabama, the priesthood was not on my radar because I didn't know any female priest. And in my junior year, I attended a completely transformative retreat. And a college chaplain gave a talk about being open to the idea that God might be calling you into the priesthood. Once that idea had been presented to me, I realized God had been calling me all along. I just didn't understand what the calling was. I think it's critical that we are a church, the Episcopal Church, that does ordain women as deacons and priests and bishops. As clergy, we represent God and we bring God to the people with whom we're ministering. And when we do that, we are helping people broaden their idea and their view of who God is. So often, in the church in which I was raised, it was a church that was built on a patriarchal system. There was no room for vulnerability. There was certainly no room to say, I don't know. In my experience, women clergy are those who are more willing to be vulnerable with the people they're ministering with and to. We're willing to say, I don't know. And I sort of think that this vulnerability and this courage is this superpower of women in general and women clergy in particular. Here at St. Stephen's, my message tends to be that you are worthy, that you are loved, that nothing's wrong with you, that nothing about you needs to be fixed, that there's nothing you can do that can make God love you anymore or love you any less because you're just right, just the way that you are.